This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at somewhere in Canada. This actually should be somewhere in the Okotoks region of Calgary, Canada, according to the Map Authors Facebook post. And that is where you can download this map over at Facebook. Uh, there will be a link in the description below uh, that will take you to the post and then you can read all about the map and then there is a download link included there this map includes custom support for seasons including a custom geo so no other geo is needed to be downloaded as it is already baked into the map uh, we have multiple other features including custom crop textures multi-terrain angle we have the fill type has been increased to support seasons, straw harvest, and maize plus custom traffic. Uh, we have custom foliage layers and custom lighting. Around 50 fields, four farm areas with four cow barns and a pigsty uh, sheds that will also be included as placeables. A biogas plant, multiple cell points, custom signs, a case dealership. And the alfalfa crop has been reconfigured to regrow multiple times a year. There is soybean straw and corn stalk baling capabilities. And what the map author describes as proper crop destruction. So what does that mean? Well, I think what that means is that basically you have double destruction. So typically crop destruction uh, revolves around growing crop uh, but once you harvest the crop you can drive all over the field and no effect i think what this means is that even with harvested crop drive over the field uh, you will have the stubble being destructed uh, from your harvesting you have a few physics warnings these usually relate to the animal pens uh, and then there is a performance warning Really, it just relates to some textures not being properly square, as I understand it, in the uh, in the map. Nothing that is going to be necessarily game-breaking. Pretty easy fix there, once we identify which textures are. So here we are, loaded into the map. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map itself. Take a look at the lands area. You see we start out by owning the pig and cow farm. Uh, we have also field 7, 28, and 27. Main farm here is $541,000. Another dairy farm, $288,000. It includes field 3 and an area across the street. Also have a dairy farm over here that includes field 35 and a little bit area across the street, $413,000. The last pre-built dairy farm is down here across the river as the river bends around it so it's field 45 and 46 four hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars is a viable guy biogas plant one hundred and three thousand dollars area 47 eighty nine thousand dollars three three hundred two so most of the land here is buying multiple fields or a single large field Taking a look at some of the various land areas, uh, you'll see that we have all of our standard crops here available in Farm Sim, including alfalfa. There are two, three, four, five, six main cell points to buy the bulk of our crops. Also have a custom cell point for cotton and wool, two cell points for our eggs, three cell points for our milk. We have a wood chip cell point, and then the Alberta feed yard is going to be our bale cell point basically for silage, hay, straw, and grass. We'll also accept our alfalfa bales, our corn straw, our soybean straw, and our pellets. Take a look at the starting equipment. You can see we start out with a fair bit of ace equipment, ace and horse equipment. Go Team Red. Go Team Red. All of it is owned. None of it is leased and there are no animals at the start. 
And we do have contracts available on the map. Also, let's go ahead and take a look at Team Red's starting equipment. We have Case Puma 240 CVX and the Case Optima 300 CVX. Our tractors range in horsepower from 270 to 313 horsepower. Case 9240 Harvester. It is paired with the Draper 45-foot Case um, Header, uh, which basically includes its own wheels, so no need for a header trailer. We also had the big 16 row Qualstar um, horn header. We've got the Kinsey grain cart, the Bandit 750 trailer, and Blizzard pickup truck. Then we move into Team Horsch. We have the Tiger 6 DT cultivator, Ponto 9 DC cedar, the Mysterio 12 SW planter. We have Team Coon in the Deltis sprayer and Axis. Spreader. We have the square baler, and well, that is it. As far as Team Red goes and its equipment, take a look at the placeable areas. We do not have any custom placeable animal pins. I will say, if you load this map up on farm manager mode, we'll see that everything is in place exactly as it is right now. Only difference is you don't own any land at the start. Here we have the custom sheds put down. Wish to expand our farm or build out other farms. Because when we do fly around the map, see that there are a couple flat areas been pre pre-set up or placeables. This map does not include sleep triggers because, well, put down your own. Never know where you might want to uh Put down your roots here in Canada. You want to start here at the starting farm? Well, that's fine. You can put down your own here. But if you want to use one of the other dairy farms, you can put there. Or if you want to build out your own farm away from all the others, well, you can do that also. We've got our grain silo over here across the way from the house. Our traditional dump and fill port here. We have our dairy operation here on the main farm we have our manure and slurry where we're going to deliver our cows 200 cattle possible in this their building and then inside we have our straw and food triggers And on the inside of the pen, we have our water trough. Now, we loaded this map up with the animal pen extension. We can see, one, where and how many animals are in the pen easily. And also to see if there is custom support for the water pipes. The map does not include custom support for the water types, but that's okay because you can just rearrange those however you want in game. Then over here we have our milk trigger. Go take a look at some of these really cool sheds. I really like these sheds. And Team Red. Pose yourself. Really well decorated. We've got a lounge area in our shop. Upstairs. Storage. Top fan to keep the air flowing. This way. Auger wagon parked underneath here. There's our header trailer. Lowest door in the land. Water trigger. There's our harvester. Baylor. Parked around back.
sprayer, planter. We already saw our boy harvester here. And we have the pigsty, manure, flurry. Drop off point for our pigs. 300 piggly wigglies fitting in this area. Have our food. Side, we have our water trough. Well, in here, and then our straw trigger is also in here, right there. And guys, that is pretty much the main farm. Watch for livestock. Food closed. Lots of cool signs on the map. We're going to take a look at a lot of these signs. I really like the way he's done this. All right, so let's go ahead and get set up. Let's get out from underneath these high power lines. We don't need to fry ourselves when we take off. Let's go ahead and get set up for our fly around. Now we'll take a look at the map from above. Clear those. All right, so now we are kind of just looking off towards the north east of the map where is the shop the shop is to the uh, down in the center of the map the east a little bit got kind of a interstate or a main road that kind of splits the map there another dairy farm operation there to the west South. We got a bit of a town down there in the southeast. Uh, make our way to the north and uh, we'll work our way around as best we can. So you'll notice, obviously, we mentioned about the signs. There are signs all over the place signs on the buildings, there's signs at the road through the buildings really give you the sense of this is is in my opinion gives you the feel that this is a legit place like you've got Cargill signs there on the building got a big Cargill sign here at the entrance love the rolling hills here we've got a buyable area uh, that you can basically set up to make your own two hundred sixty four thousand dollars right across the street we've got this pad $244,000. One of those areas where you can kind of start your farm without it being a viable you know, animal farm. We've got kind of another building plot here. Lime fill silo back there in the woods a little bit. One of our dairy farms by right here. That is our farm off in the distance. Coming up on another cell point, Canada Malting. Have another one of those sheds, and again, this is buyable land. And this could be your farm, four hundred thousand dollars. Landscaping and build that out. Sawmill over there. Uh, 
come across the edge of the map. Cut across over here. Coming up on another cell point. If you don't even know where the cell points are, you can kind of figure it out based on these nice big signs. Our cotton and wool cell point. Oh, high power lines. Coming up on the biogas plant here on our left. Algary grain. This landscaping. Now we're down here to the little town area. What would a Canadian map be without Tim Hortons? Always fresh drive through. Also have Kroger as a cell point. Probably for our eggs, maybe our milk. More cell points. Red Path, Thompson Vac. station dollar general and there we have the big case dealership I'm gonna take a closer look at that get time to circle back to the dealership their dairy operation More viable land, open sheds, kind of an open pad to start putting things down on. Another wonderful cell point. I like these semi trailers just kind of parked here along the road. Waiting for a truck to come by and pick it up. Here is another dairy operation. This building is just kind of over here all by itself. Waiting for you to buy the land and maybe build out a farm. Or maybe it's just kind of a remote dairy. Actually, I think that is associated with it. Those buildings are associated with the dairy. It's just... Kind of separated a little bit. More cell points over here. We have Alberta Feed. Tap Udo. That one, Providence Brain Solutions. Calgary is way across the road there. Take our way down the interstate. On a signage. They must really advertise the heck out of you Canadians. Billboards. Great view of the farmland right beside the... Uh, Right beside the main road here. This I thought was cool. We've got kind of this white Bronco just sitting here beside the road. Got his hazards on. And the dude's well he's just sitting in the car, I guess, waiting on waiting on a tow truck. Then we have massive case dealer. Chop trigger. A little disappointing that this isn't, you know, set up with some equipment inside and stuff, but at any rate. We have our customized repair and cell trigger here around back.
go ahead and get our Mahindra. There we go. Big area here to buy your equipment. Spawn in a bunch of big equipment for the map. And first stop is the animal dealer. Big area for our animal dealer. Park. Tractor supply appears to just be decorative. There aren't any hot spots or anything here on the map. Tractor supply, their big water tower with a big Canadian flag up there. Canada proud. Circle back. Banners, tractor. Donalds. Let's go over here. We'll take a look at the cow farm. And we'll double back and check out these animal dealers. Or not. Cell points. Sorry. Not animal dealers. We have another big dairy operation. Food and sprawl trigger. Our water trigger. Milk trigger. And the same general locations as the other animal, or the other cow building. 200 cows again for this particular facility. Then we have our slurry and manure. Sheds. Our fuel, our water trigger, our house, and we so wish to put down a sleep trigger. And then our silo. Right here we've got our dump and fill point right here. The river as it kind of loops around the property. Take a look across the uh, across the way there. Let's try to double back. Uh, that goes over the interstate. We don't want to do that. Double back and uh, check out the cell points.
dairy. Milk banner there. Jim Hortons. Brogers. Tim Hortons is just visual. Applebee's. Wendy's. Look at all these. Food sources. There's a dump station. Let's see what burgers going to accept. Burger is is milk and eggs. What they take? Up through here. Gas station fuel on the map. Other than the fuel at the various rebuilt farms. Thompson back. Dump station. Really nice details with the semi trailers, vehicles parked here at this building. We have red path. Right, getting into this one. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Something. Something horrible has happened here. I'm stationed. And we're back out here to Kroger. If we can't make our way across the street to the uh, Cattleman's Dairy. Go the wrong way on the interstate, get pulled over by the Canadian police. Calgary Green is that really cool decorated cell point landscaping. That's not the way you're supposed to get out of here. Okay. Have our biogas plant. Indian Biogas Association. Take a look at these bunkers. That's bunker one. 
Savage Bunker 2. We have our Digestate Trigger. Then our Digester. Scales coming in and out. Oh, let's see, where are we at? Continue on. Oh, we missed the Dutchman Dairy. Let's loop back. is through here. I guess that was our dump station. Evident that raised area. Coming up to our cotton and wool cell point. Corn wall mill. Unload our cotton and wool. Alongside the river here. Lots of traffic, like that we don't just have traffic going down one or two roads. Lots of bridge crossings. Lots of bridges, river crossing. might have to plan out your route depending on the size of equipment and the bridge you have to go over that might limit the equipment selection a little bit here we have our sawmill Chip cell point down there at the pile. Log cell point right here. Looking at the PDA, our farm is to the left, or to the right, and then down that road. We're going to go ahead and move this direction. I like that we've got, you know, just random houses just out here. This rural area. Still rural enough that we've got you know, what looks like obvious un 
undeveloped land. Now this area, a spot you could buy. Where are we at? So this is an area that we could buy, $400,000. Just got this shed, kind of this flat area off to the side, a few fields. It would be a buildable farm. Canada malting, again with some nice landscaping here out front. Random houses and barns with tractors parked in front of them. Farmer or farmer hand is uh, taking a break, I guess. We have our another dairy farm, cattle operation. Cool custom sheds. Our cow drop off, 200 cows again. Food trough, milk. Flurry, manure, water, and straw. Of our silo dump and fill station. A little tight getting into there with the big trailer, but got some sheds, a little farmhouse, a little modest farmhouse. We've got our water and our fuel is around here somewhere. Probably on the other side of the shed. Yep. Here's our fuel. Now we're going to make our way across the western edge of the map. That's, no, this is the northern edge. Sorry. We already talked about these kind of building plots here. Kind of a viable area with some sheds already pre-placed. Area to put more down. Coming here to Cargill. Big industrial cell point. I like how this is kind of up here on the hill. Then you can see how it's kind of been dug into here. Give a nice flat area. Across the main. Interstate. Oops, 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 oops. Mr. Road. Mr. Turn Off. Three cell points in here. We have Providence Brain Solutions. Lots of decorative stuff again through here. Uh, Saputo, Saputo, I think. I don't really know what that is. Look and see what they take. A 
All they're going to buy are eggs and milk, okay? Might be a Canadian company not familiar with. Here we have Alberta Feed. Basically our hay straw, grass, silage, bale, cell point. Almost done, everybody. Lime station down the street there. Jed. Kind of. Again, viable land. Buy this. Clear those trees out and make your own little farm. Same can be said over here. So while there are several pre-built farms, there's also lots of lots of other options available for the creative type this is the last dairy operation and from the flyover we discovered that this is kind of moved from the cow pen Tyler dump bill kids we got the farmhouse there trigger and down the hill dairy operation flurry milk livery point 200 cattle, food trough, newer, water and crawl. Do like the elevation changes, the rolling fields. Things aren't all on kind of a flat plane. It's a dairy farm down here, dairy barn down here at a lower level, and the other farm buildings up at high, up at higher level. We have Cargill, the cell point, kind of up on a hill. The interstate below it. Then we have our last cell point. Patterson Green. All the details, all these things around the cell points give a sense of life, of um, being, being real. All right, guys, that is it. That is going to do us for somewhere in Canada. everything yep we got another viable farmland here and on the other side of the river's bend from the dairy operation that we looked at earlier and we've got four pre-built dairy farms one also includes a pig area lots of additional areas that you could buy and make your own plenty of cell points for I mean this would be a really great multiplayer server map I think lots of cell points uh, so very little chance that any one person is going to tank price for any one crop any one particular cell point because there's just so many different cell points to go around let me know in the comments what do you think of somewhere in Canada until next time happy farming be sure to like, 
subscribe and click that notification bell.